11 inch macbook air a1370 and a1465 years 2010 through 2015 input output power board replacement make sure that the mac is completely powered off close the lid and flip it over we're going to need a proprietary apple's star shaped pentalope screwdriver bit Start in the top left and remove the short screw. The next two screws are slightly longer. Keep an eye on that. And then the remaining seven screws are all short. With the screws removed, we can go ahead and just pop the back panel right up. Before we do any work, let's go ahead and disconnect that battery. Pry underneath it with your fingernail or a plastic tool and just pop it out of the way like so. Let's remove the I.O. data cable by simply prying it away on each end. We're going to need a T5 screwdriver bit. Let's remove the T5 screw right above the heatsink. This will allow us to lift up the logic board slightly from the right side. Now let's remove the three T5 screws that are securing the fan. One in the top right, one in the top left of the fan, and then on the bottom left. We'll need to remove the screw that's securing the SSD, and then tilt the SSD up and wiggle it out of its socket. That will expose the connector with the eyelash that will flip up, and now we can remove the fan. With the plastic tool, pry in and disconnect the right speaker. Now lift up the eyelash, and now you can pull out the microphone connection. Now you can wiggle around and back out the eyesight. Remove the one T5 screw, and now as you lift up and wiggle out the board, you still have the power cable connection that's connected to the logic board. Untuck it from underneath the uh, battery and just pull it out of the logic board. Reassembly. Reconnect the power end of the I.O. board. You might have to slightly lift up the logic board. Go ahead and start tucking in the I.O. power board. Reconnect the right speaker, reconnect the mic, make sure the eyelash is up, and then push it down. Reconnect the eyesight cable, secure the T5 screw, putting the fan connection into its socket, and then clipping down the eyelash is next. Put it in, all the way in the socket, align it with the screw holes, and secure the top right screw. Now secure the bottom and then secure the top left T5 screw. We can now put back the right side logic board screw. Insert the SSD into its slot and just drop it in. Secure the SSD screw. Reconnect the I.O. data cable to the logic board on both ends. Reconnect the battery to the logic board. Make sure it's nice and firm and clicked in. We can now place back the cover, align it, and give it a nice firm push. Put back the two longer screws in the middle top first, and now secure the rest of the eight shorter screws. Thank you for watching. Help support this channel by subscribing.